watch us again. Today, I'm going to do an anime review. And this anime review is to... Gate episode 12, guys. And the last episode of Gate, guys. This is the final episode of Gate. So let's get into it. Now, guys, the ending, actually, of this episode. Technically, the way it ended... Even though it didn't show a trailer or anything at the end, it totally confirmed a second season. The way it ended, this definitely has a second season coming. But I'm just telling you guys that it, I, there's no doubt. Like, the way it ended, it's there's definitely a second, there's definitely a freaking second season. I can't wait until I see that because right, I'm enjoying this series. <sighs> but anyway. Let's get into the main review of the back to most about this episode. Now, how does episode start? Um, our dark elf girl, um, was now was able to get in contact with the Queen people or the Self Defense Force, um, people from Japan. <laughs> now, they she was able to contact them and able to get and able to talk to them in this episode. Now, about them seeing how they can like. Stop uh, helping to defeat. Well, help seeing they can help him defeat the fire dragon. Unfortunately, the commander or the general of the of the South Defense Force in the special region, unfortunately, denied it. Refused to help because he didn't want to put his men into a into a death to their death. Because first stop is that. The land where these dark elves are living, unfortunately, is on well enemy enemy land. It's on enemy land, and if they don't get permission, if they don't get freaking permission, they can wage war with the people who own that land. They can easily like like what they can wage war. Oh, that's one bad thing. Second of all, they won't. It won't wait. War won't happen if you only send like a like a little male man, like twelve or something. Like like I said, he didn't want to put his men into well death door. He didn't want to put them into death door. So because of that, he had to review. And that's actually the logical reason. In our day age, even when it comes to war, we make wise decisions of when we should take our men out. Well, to take the fight in the war, even though they end up dying. So we know when that, that it's a good time doing it, and and yes, in this situation, it was actually a good time for them actually to refuse because, really, it was the right decision. I would say, even though it would be a bit more happier for the dark black dark elves if they, they did go. Technically, I can see why because all the problems that could cause after. Is beating this fire dragon like they happened last time because we know what happened last time they end up have to have a well court martial stuff like that so that shows you in this episode now they did say there was one loophole eating me they said that eating me was the only per the only one who will do it who will go out there and kill the fire dragon there's only two possibilities I can think of. That he has a ve he has a very high status that in his rank of being a short soldier to fight and stuff in wars, and the self defense force. His rank is so high because like, we find out a lot of things about him in, in the series. In the series, we find out a lot of things about Itami, and there could be something more about Itami we don't know about. And maybe his rank status is even higher than we expected, and that means he has some special privileges to go out. So, and do what the heck he wants. Well, technically. But you know what I mean. He's allowed to go oh, get away with some certain things. But. The second possibility I can think of. As a. Eating me. Is an idiot. He's, a, he's an idiot. He'll be an idiot to do it. That's, those are the two possibilities I can see. How he would want to do it. Who, why he will go and help the Dark Elves. It's because 
he it has a high rank of status that he can go there without getting into trouble. Always a complete idiot. Now, he'll be a strong idiot. A very strong idiot because he will succeed. But the consequences of the end, that will more likely be the idiot side. Okay, so I'm of course, in the, of course, we didn't see Itami get in contact with this Dark Elf in this episode, unfortunately. So that's the reason why I said the way the episode ended was like, second, there's a fucking sex, there's, there's gonna be a fucking second season. There's no way they're gonna give a, cl a cliffhanger in this series like that unless they are doing read the manga in this. Which, oh, fuck. Really? Read the manga in. Actually, I don't think it is. Is it the manga? Or light novel? Or both? But still, it's telling you to go read the ending of the book. Really? Really? If they did that. Come on. Don't go there. Don't go there. A lot of these students now should know how pissed off a lot of people. All the anime only watches of the series. They should know how pissed off anime only watchers would be if they end up finding the series they were really excited for to see the second season for or third season, you know, another season for, but it never came. And it's not been confirmed for a very long time. It's not going to be, and she said it's not going to have a second season or another season, I should really say. And it said the ending wasn't really the manga ending. You know how pissed they will get. No, there are some that were willing to go and read the manga or the light novel. No, sorry guys, I'm supposed to not ever. Sorry guys, I'm going to this going to bed. But anyway, um, basically, how that would work would be a big problem is because. Like I said, there are people out there that will end up reading the manga or light novel or the visual novel. And with me with Fate Stay Night, of course I would freaking read the visual novel. It's a good series. And even if it didn't confirm any other series, I would still fucking love it because it's a good damn series. And I was willing to read the visual novel. But there are some series I don't want to do that to. I actually wanted to watch the anime. And only the anime. If I do end up finding a manga, I'm always the world by it, but... Only if I find it. I won't go searching for it. And, and there are people out there who do that. But really, most anime only watchers will more like just want to see it in anime form. If they don't get in an anime form, and it's never going to end up being another anime form of it. I just want to piss them off. If this series ends up doing that, I'll be Oh, God, really? This is one of the series I wanted to only see in anime format. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> well, right now, so far, I'm, as it's still technically new, even though it's finished now, the series is now fully complete, it's now newly complete, and now we need to wait for a few years or something until we know if it's going to get a second season or not. So, but, yeah, now, and um, but, yeah. In this episode, there was. Now, back to the main episode. Now, in this episode, guys, um, back to, in the mid, second part of the episode, come on, really? Another PR reference? Really? Really? Okay. Scratch that comedy out. <laughs> uh, no, there's a lot of people who like that comedy. Well, not really, but... Well, close your boat. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's get now. And we do find out now in the near the end of part of the episode, um, the princess Piana does get information about who Itami is because it seems like she didn't even knew Itami was the guy who. I mean, Itami was the guy who. Defending Japan against the army of forces, the one that to push back the uh, the empire uh, is army 
from the R from Arya. I'm the one that defend that defeated the fire dragon for for okay, who defeated a fire dragon. I'm the one who's also defended well the village about previously. Which we're working together with with Piana, Princess Piana. That shows you. And she just find out how shocked she like how surprised she was and how the other girl was surprised. <laughs> but anyway, that's basically how much the episode went. Now guys, it's been a while since I did a rating for whoa entire series like this. I did to do a rating for a full anime review, but now I'm going to do a rating for a series from all the episodes of Gate. My, and this is the video of my enjoyment from the series, how I'm going to rate it, from overall enjoyment of the series, and the detail, and comedy, and out of 10, I will give Gate a 7 out of 10, a 7 out of 10 guys. It is an enjoyable series. I like the story. I liked some of the animation. I like the characters' personalities. Yes. Now, of course, there are some improvements I would say it needed. First off, it needs to get a second season soon. It needs to get a second season soon. Because the way it ended, like I said, it feels like it's going to be a second season coming out. So that's the main reason, part of the reason why it's got a 7 is because... It needs a second season to get the entire series itself a higher score. Third thing is that they could do more better with their CGI. The dragons... Oh my god, that CGI is bad. The CGI for the dragon is bad. They need to get that story. And also, those uh, the way they placed up other characters in the stuff. They didn't use the 3D effect, which a lot of them are doing these days which are more effective than just putting panels up that could also be improved on but that's really what he, that's the main reason why I'm gonna get that's why I'm gonna give Gate a 7 out of 10 so guys this was my final review of Gate and the episode episode 12 Okay guys, I hope you guys like this review and the series of Gates. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Become a giant fan today. If you guys want to see me fan mail, go to my description below. My address is there and yeah. Hope you guys like it. Comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later in future, well, reviews after the one that I finished off all the series that need to be done. So yeah. Alright, and so come on like and subscribe. See you guys. Bye!